we will be discussing the cytoplasm and the nucleus in the screencast. Both topics can be found in Chapter 3 of your textbook. The screencast was designed to help you achieve the following objectives. Define cytoplasm. Describe the cytosol. Define organelles. Describe the nucleus in detail. Briefly describe the function of the nucleus. Explain how DNA is organized in dividing and non-dividing cells. And describe the function of the nucleolus. So the cytoplasm is the space outside the nucleus and inside the plasma membrane. It contains a fluid called the cytosol, organelles, which are the metabolic machinery of the cell, and inclusions. The cytosol is a thick or viscous liquid composed mainly of water with many substances dissolved and some suspended within it. These substances include salts, respiratory gases such as carbon dioxide and oxygen, organic compounds such as amino acids and proteins and carbohydrates, as well as enzymes, all moving about, many reacting with one another, contributing significantly to the metabolism of the cell. This illustration of the cytosol is meant to illustrate the diversity and abundance of substances found within the cytosol. Also found in the cytoplasm, dispersed throughout the cytosol, are the organelles. Organelles literally means little organs. These are specialized structures that perform specific specialized functions. They are the metabolic machinery of the cell. Organelles are to a cell what your organs are to your body. Most cells have multiple copies of most organelles. Some organelles are surrounded by a membrane very similar in properties and structure to the plasma membrane. These organelles include the nucleus, the mitochondrion, the smooth and rough endoplasmic reticula, the Golgi apparatus, the lysosomes, and the peroxisomes. Other organelles have no membrane, such as the ribosomes, the proteosomes, and the cytoskeleton. Inclusions are collections of substances such as lipids, pigments, and mucus. They're found free in the cytosol and they're not surrounded by a membrane. Often inclusions are formed as a result of disease. Let's now talk about the nucleus. The nucleus is centrally located in a cell, usually, and it typically takes on the overall shape of the cell in general. Most cells have at least one nucleus, at least initially. Some cells may have multiple nuclei when they are mature, or they are what we call multinucleated cells. An example would be skeletal muscle fibers or cells. Some cells, when they are mature, have no nuclei at all, such as the red blood cells. The nucleus is often referred to as the control center of the cell, and that's because it is where the DNA or genetic material of the cell is located. Recall that the DNA contains the code or the recipe for all of the proteins that a cell makes. The nucleus itself is composed of three regions, the nuclear envelope, the nucleoplasm, where the chromatin is located, and the nucleolus. The nuclear envelope separates the nucleus from the cytoplasm. It is an effective barrier controlling the flow of materials into and out of the nucleus. The nuclear envelope is composed of two membranes, 
each being very similar in structure to the plasma membrane. The nuclear envelope contains nuclear pores which allow molecules to move between the nucleus and cytoplasm. The nuclear pores are formed by the fusing of the inner and outer layers of the nuclear envelope. Filling the interior of the nucleus is the nucleoplasm. The nucleoplasm is very similar in composition to the cytosol with areas or regions of chromatin usually dispersed within. What is chromatin anyway? It is the form in which DNA exists in a non-dividing cell and cells spend most of their life cycle not dividing. So usually DNA is in the form of chromatin. Chromatin consists of DNA and proteins called histones. So as you know, DNA is a double helix. It's a very thin but very long molecule. This means that it is easy, easily broken or fragmented. To protect the DNA from fracture, it is wound around proteins called histones. It is the accumulation of the histones with their wrapped DNA that forms chromatin. Now, chromatin is a very unorganized form of DNA. It would be very difficult to segregate the DNA in this form during mitosis and cell division. Therefore, in preparation for cell division and during cell division, chromatin is condensed into chromosomes. Although only one chromosome is shown here, the human body contains 46 chromosomes. Found within the nucleus are one or more dense tangles of chromatin called nucleoli. Nucleolus is singular. The components of the ribosomes are synthesized at the nucleolus. They are then transported out of the nucleus through the nuclear pores where they are assembled in the cytoplasm. The ribosomes are then attached to the rough endoplasmic reticulum or they remain free in the cytoplasm. Let's revisit the objectives of the screencast. Define cytoplasm. Describe the cytosol. Define organelles. Describe the nucleus in detail. Briefly describe the function of the nucleus. Explain how DNA is organized in dividing and non-dividing cells and describe the function of the nucleolus. The next screencast discusses the organelles.